now we are in a position to describe the first version of our leader-based sequence Paxos. Let us look to the initial state of sequence Paxos. So we have a set of proposers, and a proposer will have current number and the current sequence. Initially, it is empty. Then we are going to have a sequence of current set of proposed commands. These are commands coming from the clients. Then we have loss, which is the length of the longest accepted sequence per acceptor. We have the longest chosen sequence, this its length. And then we have the state of proposer. It could be a leader in a prepare phase, a leader in accept phase, or a follower. And the acceptors are as before. So this is old one. The promise, the current round number, the accepted value, initially empty. And then we have the learner, which is the decided sequence, initially empty. So here is the algorithm for preferred phase and leader initiation. So if a proposer gets an event which says the leader is L and the round number is N. So if I am the leader and N is larger than any other number I accepted in the past, then now I am a leader. Otherwise, my state would be follower and the leader will be L, somebody else. And here's again our variable. We have a set S to collect promises from acceptors. We change our state to leader prepare. We have a set of proposed command, initially empty. And you know, the rest one, that the initial sequence is empty and now the round number is N. We have the loss as we described. And we have the LC, the length of chosen sequence. And then we send a prepare to all acceptors with, of course, the round number here. If we get another propose command from a client and we are in the leader prepare phase, we just append this command to the set of proposed commands so far. So we can get multiple proposed commands from clients while we are in the prepare phase. When we get a promise from an acceptor and n is equal to our round number and we are in a leader prepare phase, then we do the following. We add the pair, which is the round number of the acceptor and the value accepted to S. And when we collect the majority, we pick the max of these, and the max of these is first the highest round number. And if there are multiple sequences, we pick the longest one, as we said before. So now we have the sequence of commands that has been accepted by an acceptor, and the longest of these sequence, and the, with the highest number. Then we augment the command that we got from the proposed event here to it and we reset the set of proposed commands here. That is fine. Then we send all of these to all acceptors, as usual, and we move to the accept phase. Adjust a point at this point. So the proposer, which is the leader now, is in sync with the majority of acceptors. Now the leader moves to the accept phase. So we have the leader in the accept phase. If he gets new proposal while they are in accept phase, he augment his sequence with that command and send the new extended sequence to all acceptors. When he get an accept acknowledge or accepted message from acceptors, when he gets here the length of the accepted sequence, he start to see if he got a sequence that is now has support by a majority. And that is what we have here. And if the sequence that is supported by a majority is longer, than the longest chosen sequence, then we have an extended sequence and we can decide on that by sending this sequence, which is taking the prefix of VL by M to all learners. Now we look to the acceptor and learner behavior. This is the case, the first statement when he acceptor gets prepared message, it's as usual, N is higher 
then the promise, he updates the promise and send back a promise to the new leader. That is fine. And then we have the accept, this message. If he gets a sequence with this NP, and P is the leader. So if N is higher than or equal to the promise, again, to make sure the promise is updated, then he updates his accepted se se sequence around by using the max that we talked about before. And then he send accepted message, as we said, with the length of the accepted sequence. But this side is the same. If you decide, you just look to see if this is a longer sequence, then you update what is your decided sequence and you trigger the side. So this is the whole algorithm until now. This algorithm, as you can see, we can see it only in a single page. This page is instructive because here we can see the changes that we made to introduce a leader-based Paxos. I will just point out the new changes. So we did a change here. So this code is only executed by a leader. And you can see you are either in the prepare phase here, either you are a follower. What else? We changed this part. This is a code when you get a promise from an acceptor, you have to be in the prepare phase. And in that case, you go and send your accepts and move to the accept phase. Here is the code for proposing a command. While you are in the accept phase, you just extend the sequence and you send to the acceptors. And here is the code while you are in the prepare phase you save the new command in a set of proposed command. And we know that we are going to send these commands here. And this code, when you are in the accept phase and a leader and you get an accepted, you know what to do. We just chose the longest chosen sequence. If it is lo longer, then we decide. The code for the acceptors and learners is not changed whatsoever. So it's very small, minor changes. So this finishes the first version of the algorithm. Now we still have two problems. We are sending sequences here and there. We have to get rid of that. And the second issue is that, can we optimize this algorithm in case the same process plays the role of a proposer, acceptor, and learner? This is the second issue. In this case, we can collapse all these sequences, the VL, VA, and VD, into a single sequence. So currently, if we have replicas that play the three roles, proposer, acceptor, and learner, this will be redundant. We finish this unit by briefly looking to the correctness of the algorithm. Here is the property that we want to guarantee, which is if a proposal, NV, is chosen, it means it will be decided then every higher proposal n prime v prime that is chosen is a longer proposal and also v is a prefix of v prime so we want to guarantee this property between leader changes this property should always hold and also while a leader is proposing commands we have two cases the first case is the n prime v prime proposal is actually a proposal that is executed while the leader is in the accept phase. So n equal n prime. When the leader is in accept phase, he is just extending his sequence successively. So only successive long sequences can become chosen within the same round. Why is that? Because since the acceptor accept only growing sequences. And if they accept only growing sequences, then it means that if a sequence is chosen, any other sequences are extension of that. And that, of course, if it is accepted by the acceptor, it will be then decided. The second case happens when we have a leader change. In this case, n prime is higher than n. The leader goes to the prepare phase and the prepare phase guarantees that all chosen sequence in round n will be adopted in round n prime. 
and no new sequence can be chosen in round n after that.